I, red envelope number 88, wasn't always stuffed with crisp bills and adorned with auspicious symbols. I was just a humble square of red paper, dreaming of escaping the factory and experiencing the world. And then, one glorious day, I was chosen. Filled with lucky money, I was tucked inside a silk brocade pouch, ready for my grand adventure. My first stop was a bustling market. I peeked out, witnessing a haggle over the price of a fish, the fishmonger exclaiming, May this fish bring you abundance in the new year! I felt a flutter of hope. Maybe I, too, could bring abundance to someone worthy. Next, I found myself in a bustling restaurant. A young woman, her eyes filled with longing, carefully placed me on a table. I overheard her whisper, May this red envelope grant me the scholarship to study abroad and fulfill my dreams. My lucky money seemed to vibrate with her desire. Then came the children. Oh, the children. Their excitement was contagious. They squealed with delight as they received me, their eyes wide with anticipation. One little boy, clutching me tight, declared, Finally, now I can buy that giant robot toy. I chuckled, imagining the joy I'd bring him. But not every encounter was joyful. At a grand family reunion, I witnessed an awkward exchange. An elderly uncle, his face etched with disappointment, handed me to his niece with a sigh. Maybe this will help you finally find a husband, he muttered. The niece, her cheeks burning, mumbled a thank you and tucked me away. I felt a pang of sympathy. Was I supposed to be a magic love potion? Finally, I landed in the hands of a kind old woman. Her eyes crinkled with warmth as she placed me on her family altar, whispering, May this year be filled with good health and happiness for all? I felt a sense of peace settle over me. Perhaps this was my ultimate purpose, not just to bring wealth or dreams, but to remind everyone of the simple wishes that truly mattered. As the festivities came to an end, I felt a little deflated. My crisp bills were gone, replaced with the crumpled remnants of wishes and dreams. But then, the woman picked me up, carefully folding me into a small square. You've served us well, little red envelope, she said, tucking me away with other envelopes from past years. Next year, you'll carry new wishes and stories. And so, I wait, nestled amidst my red brethren, filled with the echoes of laughter, hope, and quiet contentment. I may be just a red envelope, but I've witnessed a world of wishes, reminding me that even the smallest things can carry the greatest meaning. And who knows, maybe next year, I'll bring that giant robot toy to life after all.